This is problem number two from section 9.6. It says determine if B is the inverse matrix of A. And you'll see we have two three by three matrices. And if we're going to determine that B is an inverse, uh, is the inverse of A, we need to do A times B. So we need A times B to be the identity. And then we also need B times A to be the identity. So we need to check A times B first to see, do we end up with the identity matrix shown in red here, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. Okay, let's start. We're going to do most of this in the calculator because it just makes it easier. We know when we're taking a 3 by 3 times a 3 by 3, we get a 3 by 3. So I'll mark 3 by 3 here. And we'll start by doing uh, row 1 times column 1. So negative 1, negative 1 times negative 1 plus negative 3 times 0 plus 1 times 0. So we end up with 1 there. And now we're going to do negative 1 times negative 3. Plus uh, negative 3 times 1. Plus 1 times 0. That's 0 there. Now we're going to go negative 1 times 16 plus negative 3 times negative 5 plus 1 times 1. 0 as well. Now we're going to go the row 2 times each column. So we're going to go 0 times negative 1 plus 1 times 0 and 5 times 0. So 1 times 0 plus 5 times 0 is 0. And now we're going to go 0 times negative 3 plus 1 times 1 plus 5 times 0. Get a 1 in the middle. Finally, we're going to go 0 times 16. So 0 times 16 plus 1 times negative 5 plus 5 times 1. 0 here. Now we're going 0 times negative 1. So 0 times negative 1 plus 0 times 0 plus 1 times 0. And we get 0 there. 0 times negative 3 plus 0 times 1 plus 1 times 0. Get 0 here. And finally, we're going to go 0 times 16 plus 0 times negative 5 plus 1 times 1. So we get 1. So when we get A times B, we did get the identity. And now we're going to try B times A to see if this works. So that means we're going to have negative 1, negative 3, 16, 0, 1, negative 5, 0, 0, 1. And then we'll have negative 1, negative 3, 1, 0, 1, 5, 
and 0, 0, 1. And that's going to equal a 3 by 3 matrix here. Let's go ahead and start plugging those in. So negative 1 times negative 1 plus negative 3 times 0 plus 16 times 0 gives you a 1. Now we're going negative 1 times negative 3 plus negative 3 times 1 plus 16 times 0 is 0. Now negative 1 times 1 plus negative 3 times 5 plus 16 times 1. 0 there. Now we're going to the row 2. So we go 0 times negative 1 plus 1 times 0 plus negative 5 times 0. 0 here. 0 times negative 3 plus 1 times 1 plus negative 5 times 0. That's a 1. 0 times 1 plus 1 times 5 plus negative 5 times 1. 0 here. Now we're going to the third row, first column. 0 times negative 1 plus uh, 0 times 0 plus 1 times 0. 0. 0 times negative 3 plus 0 times 1 plus 1 times 0. Zero there, and finally zero times one plus zero times five plus one times one. Identity. What does it mean? B is the inverse of Okay, that's how you check to see uh, if two matrices are inverses for three by threes.